In this video, we will look at a couple of examples to practice working with broken line graphs. In particular, we'll practice analyzing broken line graphs and answering questions about them. Example A, answer the questions below for the following broken line graph, which shows the distance over time of a bus from the bus depot. So the first thing that we see is this graph, and we can look at it, we see the time in hours. So it starts out at time zero. This looks like to be a two, four, six, eight, ten, and it goes up by twos here. So at time zero, it's two miles from the bus depot, and then it gets farther away, it stops for an hour at four miles away, then it drives again, gets farther away, stops, gets farther away, stops, and then turns around and starts getting closer and closer again, but then it stops for a little bit and then gets closer again. So we're gonna use this graph to answer some questions. A, what was the fastest speed of the trip? Okay, so anytime you have a distance time graph, speed will be the slope of the line at any between any two points. So if we want the fastest speed, we want to think about where is the which slope is the steepest. And it looks to me that the steepest slope was right here on this line. It goes from 20 up at the top, 20 miles away, down to 4 miles away in just one hour, from 5.5 hours to 6.5 hours. So the slope is negative 16, which means the speed is 16 miles per hour. So the fastest speed is 16 miles per hour. If you weren't sure, you could check the slopes of the other lines, but I can tell by looking at it that that one is the steepest. Part B, how many times did the bus stop on its trip do not count the beginning and end. Okay, so anytime the bus stopped, it will be where we have a horizontal line because the distance away from the bus depot isn't changing as time is going on. So I can see that happens right here. From one hour to two hours, it's stuck at being four miles away. Again, right here it stops, right here it stops, and right here it stops. So it stops four times throughout the trip for, you know, about an hour or half an hour each time. So the answer is four times. Now let's look at the next question. What was the initial distance of the bus from the bus depot? So that was how far away did it start out at the beginning of this graph? So that's right here at time zero, it was two miles away. So the initial distance was two miles. And we have one more question. What was the total distance traveled by the bus? All right, so this question can seem harder than it is. Think about, we started being two miles away. We were driving and stopping and driving and stopping and driving and stopping until we get to 20 miles away. So how far have we traveled so far? We've gone from two to 20. So that means so far we went 18 miles in that first part of the trip. So from here to here, we've traveled 18 miles. Now we turn around to go home. We go from being 20 miles away to down here, zero miles away. So we're traveling 20 miles over the course of that part of the trip. So total, we've traveled 18 plus 20 miles or 38 miles. So this answer is 38 miles. So hopefully this example helped you to see how to analyze broken line graphs, specifically distance time graphs, as far as figuring out distance traveled and speed and what it looks like when you've stopped.